Hi all, welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video, we'll study about the listing of all the pipelines present in a data factory using Postman tool. For this purpose, we have under the Microsoft REST documentation page, a get method request, which is having this URI. In this URI, we have to fill in the details of our data factory to get the list of pipelines. So what does list of pipelines mean? If we go to the data factory, here we have ADF hyphen cloud knowledge. We have here a few pipelines. Okay. Pipeline one, etc., etc. So how many pipelines here are? Okay. We want the data. We want the details of the pipeline, pipeline names, list the pipelines, which all are present inside the data factory. So that is what we are going to achieve using Postman tool. Here we have the Postman tool. And in the previous videos, we have studied about getting the bearer token to access the resources or services which are present inside the Azure portal. And if you want to study in detail about getting bearer token for the Azure resources, you can visit that video. Let's go back. Here we have the endpoint. We'll copy this into a notepad. We'll paste this get method request. And now we have to fill in the details here. The details have to include subscription ID, resource group name, then the factory name. Okay, so we'll go back. So we'll go to the data factory overview page and get those details. Subscription ID from the overview section will take up. We'll copy. We'll go to the notepad and paste the ID. Resource group name is cloud knowledge. We'll copy that paste it here in the resource group name then the data factory name the data factory name is adf hyphen cloud knowledge so here we'll write the name adf cloud knowledge okay so we have the get request ready we'll copy this request we'll go to the postman tool and in the collection called bearer token in the same token we'll click on the three dots present here and add a new request the new request is to list pipelines sorry it's list pipelines names okay in a data factory the method will be get so we need not change it from the drop down we'll simply paste the url and if we send it currently it will show error because they have not given the bearer token so let's give it it gives authentication failed authorization header is missing so what we need to do is we have to go to the authorization section and select bearer token here we have to give the token now this token will get it from the get bearer token post request which we have studied in the video and i've already said that you can visit that video to get more details to get the bearer token we have to give these key value pairs grant type client id client secret and resource once we give all these four parameters we have to click on send the post request and in response we'll get the bearer token so here response came Status is 200 OK. The value of the bearer token resides inside the access token. So we'll take this value. We have taken till the curly braces. We'll, we'll remove it while pasting. So we'll copy that value and go to the list pipelines get request. Here we are going to paste it. So we'll first remove the existing token value and go at the bottom here. And remove the curly braces and extra quotes. Now this looks fine. We'll click on send again and wait for the response. So yeah, we've got the response now that the pipeline names are pipeline one. It has few activities, the details present inside it. Then it has another pipeline name, pipeline demo not in. Then other pipelines so if you want to see in detail we'll just copy the value here we'll open a new notepad we'll paste it and see here okay in a better view so value id name type properties if we go down we could see another id here for the second pipeline again we'll see 
the next ID. So in this way, every pipeline is listed using the postman tool and this get request. Okay. Hope you've understood this video. Do let me know in comments if you have any queries. Thank you for watching. Happy learning. Bye.